In this video, we will look at how the Arlo Wirefree camera uses its infrared sensor to trigger a video capture. We will show the best way to position the camera for optimal coverage. This video will not cover any aspects of the camera's wireless operation or configuration. The Arlo Wirefree camera uses two main components to capture events, a camera lens to capture the action and a motion sensor to start the capture. The camera lens has a 110 degree field of view and will begin recording as soon as it is triggered by the sensor. The motion sensor has an 80 degree field of view. It uses passive infrared to sense heat signatures out to 15 to 20 feet away from the camera. The optimal detection zone is between 7 and 15 feet away from the camera. If the motion is very near the sensor, it may cross the field of view too fast and will be missed and if the motion is far away, the heat signature will blend with the background and may be ignored or trigger false alarms. People and other living things emit a type of infrared energy that's easy for the motion sensor to interpret. When surrounding objects get warm, they emit an infrared radiation that is very similar to that of living things. Infrared is just a part of the electromagnetic spectrum that human eyes can't see, but you can feel it if you are close enough to it. Humans emit energy in mid-infrared, that's around 94 Fahrenheit. Arlo can sense that up to 20 feet away. You may wonder what the mid-infrared signatures look like. The sensor detects something similar to this image. If the background radiation is also in the near-infrared, the patterns can seem flat and the sensor will have a difficult time producing a trigger event. For this reason, we advise against pointing the camera towards areas that can get very hot or that reflect direct sunlight back to the camera. Try to point the camera at a cool zone. Pick an area that does not reflect sunlight and that won't get so hot that it will mask people heat signatures. Using the mounting gear, place your camera about seven feet above the ground and aim down a little. Remember that the camera lens has a 110 degree field of view and that the infrared sensor detects motion in an 80 degree field out to 20 feet. This gives you a good trigger zone. Even if the optical lens sees distant objects, the infrared sensor will only reliably capture events inside the trigger zone. A trigger event will occur when an infrared source significantly rises above the noise in a given amount of time. The sensor's level of sensitivity can be adjusted to respond to lower or higher input levels, but the general function is the same. Walking directly towards the camera may not provide sufficient change to trigger an event. Moving across the sensor's field of view will trigger events more reliably. Regardless of the settings you choose, the best way to mount your camera is on a location where the heat signature moves across the field of view at an angle. This motion produces a clear signal to begin recording and plenty of time for a good video capture. For this and other topics, please visit us at arlo.com support.